Hi. Yes, hello. Sorry, my students have been running a little bit late. I thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, is there, is there very cold? You wore. Everybody's saying the same. Yeah, I'm cold today. You know when you just wake up cold, and you can't warm up. <laughs> That's me today. It's sunny outside, but it is cold. Um, there was a storm last night. Oh, so, yes, yeah, so it's very cold and windy today. Okay. Yeah. And so what it's, about it, the son? He had his the COVID test. Yes, it was negative. Yes, so he went to school today. Oh, that's great! I thought that why you went to test him. <laughs> no, he had to. Yeah, they had. I had to take him to school uh, because they were testing all the students yesterday. Uh, at and school. if yeah, at school, and if they got uh, a negative test result, mm -hmm. then they could go. They could go back to school today. Okay. So he has to get tested, uh, I think once or maybe twice a week at school. Oh. Yeah, all the kids, so that if anybody has COVID, go <laughs> to try go to, to keep... Go to hospital? No, no, just go home. Go home okay. and isolate. Yeah, so that it doesn't spread around the schools. Yeah. Uh, not for not for the little ones, only for high schools. Okay. So yeah. Uh, high schools means which grade to which grade in your country? Uh seventh grade to eleventh grade. Is a high school. Yeah, so t eleven till sixteen years old. Okay. And the twelfth grade? Twelfth. 13th grade yeah they are they usually go to uh sometimes they stay in the school if the school has a like a college uh the old the kids can stay there uh, but often often high schools finish at grade 11 and the students have to then go to a different college okay. uh to, to continue yeah and everybody in the uk has to stay in education until they are 18 Okay, it's mandatory. It's mandatory. Great. How about in India? In India, uh, pre-primary till uh, three years to uh, six years. Then first grade from six years to eight year. Uh, I think uh, primary till eighth eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Uh, then ninth grade to twelfth grade is a high school. Uh, previously, eleventh grade and twelfth grade was junior college. Mm. And uh, after twelfth grade, uh, three years university. Okay. For the graduation. Okay. And then PG and all. And do do kids have to go to school? Mm, now schools are closed. No, but usually, um, is is education compulsory? Exactly. Until what age? Uh, eighth standard, eighth grade, it's compulsory. But uh, usually people study till 10th, 12th. And nowadays, even means uh, poor or uh, people don't want, they are also uh, means for, <laughs> forcefully, uh, they are completing 12th grade or graduation at least. Ah, okay. But there is no use of that graduation. Okay. So what happens if parents don't send their kids to school? It doesn't happen. It doesn't they happen. Don't. They don't get punished. Uh, people from school, they uh, teachers come to search that uh, we students are not coming to school and they convince the parent. Okay. And government has been started uh, that um, hostels kind of things. Uh, the poor people who are going uh, for work in other cities, they are moving other cities. So they have started, uh, they have been started some hostels at their place as well and uh, at their uh, hometown as well. So they can take education 
either. Uh, okay. Uh, if they want to stay at their hometown or if they want to uh, at their wherever their parents are working. Right. Okay. Yeah. So even the poorest families in the poorest places, do the kids always go to school? Yeah, because they are getting everything free. Yeah. Uniform free, books free. Uh, then midday meal is also free. What's free, sorry? Still eighth grade. Ah, okay. Midday meal, uniform and books. Ah, okay, okay, good. Oh, that's good. And transportation for girls uh, till 12th grade is free. Just girls? Yes, not for boys. Why? <laughs> because in our area, people uh, prefer to send their boys to the college, but not for girls. If it's a, it's about expenditure. It was it was previous scenario, but government has given that. Uh, what can I say? Privilege. Okay, and do boys and girls go to the same schools? Yes. Yeah, they mix. Okay. Yeah, because I've got some Saudi students, and they are so shocked when I tell them that my kids, boys and I go to schools where boys and girls are all together. Okay. In Saudi, uh, they are not together. They are not studying together. No, never. Not even at kindergarten. Oh, my God. Yeah. Huh? Always separate. Yeah. And uh, my Saudi girls, um, up, up the girls' schools, it's only female teachers. There's no men, male teachers allowed. So they're always taught by women and in their class, it's always girls. So they're always kept separate. What about their confidence level when they face male? They never face males. They never face males because they're never allowed out of their house unless they are chaperoned by their dad or one of their older brothers. And they always cover up. So yes, they, they, they never cover really, up. yeah. And so, uh, yeah, and Saudi families usually always have, well, may, I don't know, maybe you do. Uh, they have a house, but then they have like a room, a separate room that is for receiving visitors. So it's not really part of the house because they never use it. It's only for receiving visitors. And if you have daughters, it's for like a prospective husband uh, to come with that with his family and to meet the girl um but yeah they never they never mix with apart from their brothers they don't mix with boys at all uh, unless oh when they're older they have a job and then they go to work and then they might be okay, mixing when, when, okay when they go to job then only they can mix uh, but uh, what about the confidence level or maybe they may not feel comfortable? Maybe not. Uh, well, most of my students who are in professional jobs, like they're doctors or uh, they work in scientific laboratories, uh, they are confident because they're educated. They're quite strong women. Um, and yeah, they don't wear the full face covering when they're at work. They just cover their, their hair. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they seem to be quite confident, really. But, yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's strange. But even some of my Saudi students, even though I'm a woman, they won't turn their camera on. So I, I never see. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I've, I've, I've had a student called Ruby who I've had for six, seven months. And I, I she's never, ever put her camera on. Oh my god! So I've got no idea what she looks like, and sometimes I say okay. Ruby. What other... uh, well, I know... <laughs> and what about other students? They on the camera? Yes, yeah, some of them. Some some start okay. with the camera off. Um, okay. And then, for example, and like I thought it was definitely because of culture and religion, uh, which I think it is with some of them. But one of my students, uh, Sarah, so she, again, Sarah, just like Ruby, black screen, 
I'm like, hi, Sarah. I can't see anything. It's just a black screen. How are you? You know, hi. Oh, teacher, you look pretty today. Oh, thank you, Sarah. You know, I can't see her. So, and then sometimes I'd say, Sarah, you're going to put your camera on one day so I can see your face. And she's like, oh, I don't know, maybe. But I don't want to, I don't want to be too pushy, in, you know, in case it's a cultural thing. I don't want to be too, don't want to bully her. So, I kind of don't ask, I don't mention it too much. But then um, uh, one day I said to her, oh, maybe one day I'll, I'll see your face. And she said, yes, teacher, maybe. And I said, um, I said, why is your camera off? Is it because of your culture and your religion? And she said, no, teacher, it's because I haven't brushed my hair and I'm wearing my pajamas. <laughs> So I said, oh, what? I said, I don't care what you look like. And she's <laughs> like, oh, no, teacher, it's I, I, can't, I can't put my camera on. I've got my pajamas on. Uh, and I said, OK, fine. And anyway, the next lesson, I, I clicked, you know, OK. And, oh, there she is. Clothes, oh, really? yeah, makeup, hair. And she just said, surprise, teacher. And I said, Sarah, oh, it's so nice to see you. And she's like, thank you. I said, oh, you're so pretty. Thank you. Yeah. And then I said to her, listen, you don't need to get dressed, put makeup on. If you want to just sit in your pajamas, I don't care. It's fine. So, yeah, the next lesson, she's sat there. Her hair's all sort of crazy and she's wearing her pink pajamas. So, yeah. So, yeah. so I thought it was because of culture, but not, not always. <laughs> always uh, okay so what's been what's been happening anything the last two days nothing i had some work so i did it first i want to take your photo do you want me to look cold <sighs> <laughs> change Hang on. Hmm, that's nice. That's nice. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So did you put the last lesson on YouTube with the would you rather questions or did you cut them? No, I I put uh, our previous lesson before seven days. Ah, okay. Nowadays, I'm not uploading much videos. But I'll upload this one as well. All right, okay. Miss, I'm not getting time, but I'll upload all the lessons whenever I'll get. When you get the time. time, yeah. So, does it take? How long does it take then to edit? First, I'll I'll have to download from the uh, Camly. It may take uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes. It's depend on the um, internet connection. First thing. It will take 20 to 30 minutes. Mm. Then I'll have to edit it. Edit means uh, sometimes I cut some part, otherwise I don't. But I just put that logo of subscribe to the channel and kind of thing. So I'll have to, uh, first I'll have to watch whole video that is there anything I don't want to put on. <laughs> so it, it will take 30 minutes and I'll cut at the same time. Then I'll put that subscribe to channel. And then I'll have to uh put in it uh, put that video in the kind master means in a software and then it will take to the gallery it it may take uh some time 30 minutes sometime more than that and then i'll have to upload on youtube so it takes sometime 30 minutes sometime one hour ah, okay so it, yeah it's quite time consuming that's why so uh have you counted and again again i'll have to make thumbnail <laughs> oh yeah yeah true thumbnail again takes time so have you had and, okay how much you earn how much you earn weekly or monthly from camly i'll email you with that no i just want to uh check that uh how much you need to survive comparatively india like uh, uh, uh dollar is 37 rupees uh one dollar so I just want to check that uh, how much money we need to uh, uh, just uh, to survive in minimal things. 
and Mac and uh, how much you people from UK you need? Oh, it just it's it just depends very much on, uh, you know, how big your house is, how, your cars, your yeah, your your job, how many kids you have. Some people can survive on a thousand pounds a month or less. Thousand pounds is how many dollars? Uh, do you want it in rupees? Yeah, if you tell me in th in dollars, I can convert it in rupees. Okay, so for example, some some people earn eight hundred pounds a month, which isn't very eight hundred pounds is how many dollars? Yeah, uh, one thousand one hundred. Okay, eight hundred pounds means eleven hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's like. Us only because uh... so a police officer uh, earns like just not a not a boss just a, a regular police officer uh, if they are if they are a new police officer they earn about two thousand five hundred American dollars a month okay. Uh, but that's that's still not very much. If you've been in the police for ten years or more, you earn about four thousand dollars a month. Okay. So why you left uh, your job of police officer? Three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah. So that about that. Uh, so yeah, if I went, if I returned back to the police now, and I was a full-time police officer, I would hmm. probably earn about three thousand, uh, probably four thousand dollars a month. Okay. But then, if, so is it equally equal like you are earning now, or it's more or less? Uh, well, yeah, with the other, not with Camberley, but with the other jobs that I do. Um, yes, about that, sort of. Yes. Uh, but the problem is, we've got obviously we have a lot of tax. So if you earn four thousand dollars a month, uh, one thousand dollars is tax. So that's three thousand dollars you have, okay. and then you have to pay pension and national insurance and lots of things, other things. So you're probably left with about two thousand five hundred American dollars a month. Okay, which is in your bank to run your house. Uh, well, okay. that depends on on your situation. It's not really enough for the house that I'm in at the moment, um, because okay. it's we have a big house, and we've got four kids and two okay. cars. Is but is it rented? It is rented. Yeah, this is rented. Yeah, okay. I I heard that in America and in UK, uh, own house is like a big thing. Means. Uh, it's so costly to construct your own well house. yeah before I moved here I had my own house and my husband with, with my ex-husband and my husband had a house with his ex-wife and I sold my house um, and I had to give my ex-husband half of the money out of the house and my ex-husband he had to fight his wife for money as well uh, so he didn't get yeah she took a lot of it and he he didn't get as much um so yeah we decided to rent a house initially to begin with until we bought a house and the, the, the but the problem is the house that we're renting is really nice and big and it's got a really big garden and we can afford to rent it but if we wanted to buy a house as big as this with a garden as big as this garden we would need more than half a million pounds. Oh my god! It's yeah, we'd need we'd need awesome. about half a million pounds to get a house this big with this with a garden like this, probably. So it's just too much money. So we decided to stay in the rented house that we can afford, while well, because the kids are enjoying the garden. Yes, and we can course. have a swimming pool in the garden. Oh, yeah, nice. and in the future, 
Um, we will buy a house, but it, we'll buy a house when we don't need, you know, so much stuff for the kids. Okay, means your your kids will be 18 plus. Yeah. <laughs> they will leave you. Well, yeah, <laughs> maybe. And you will, you will purchase a uh, house in your budget. Yes, yeah, exactly. Because then we don't, I mean, we could, we could buy a house now and move, but yeah, it wouldn't have the same space outside. So we just decided mm -hmm. that we're happy at the moment. We don't want to move as well because the kids are at school. Primary school is only a three minute walk from the house. Oh, so it's so yeah, convenient. That's, that's yeah. Yeah. It's beneficial for you. And what is the range of your house? It's weekly or monthly? Monthly. And it's, let me find out, yeah. $1,200 a month. Okay. Then I think you might have take a distributor responsibility among you. I'll pay rent, you manage... Uh, uh, house expenses or kind of thing. Well, between me and my <laughs> husband. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he used to pay for it all uh, because I was I just was a mum at home and I didn't I didn't work for a few years. But yeah, now I now I can help at least. Yeah. So so now we both we both pay towards it. Yeah, and also save uh, so that we so that we can buy a house in the future. Okay, and you might have getting uh, maintenance from your uh, ex-husband as well for your... Yeah, I do get a bit. Yeah, not not a, not a huge amount. But yes, uh, I do get a bit, yeah. Yeah, it legally, uh, every father has to pay uh, money for their kids if they split up. So, uh, yeah, so he, he pays me some money every month for the kids. So that's so. If what happens if if some people are really rich, so they give more money, or some people they are not financially very good, so they pay less, or is there a certain amount fixed that yeah that person will have to give that much amount? Uh, yeah, for the maintenance? I think it's a percentage of the man's salary. I can't remember how much the percentage is though, but no, if. If he earns if he earns five hundred dollars a month, he has to pay me, I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah, so it, it depends on how much he earns. But if I win the lottery and I have ten million pounds, he still has to pay me every month. Okay. So it doesn't matter what it doesn't, it doesn't matter what I earn. He still has to give me money, okay. even if I have and if I have no money and I'm so poor. He doesn't have to give me more. He, he just so. has to give me, you know, what what he can afford. Yeah. And uh, when he will stop giving money means when your school, uh, your kids will turn 18 or what? Yeah, I think it's when the twins turn 18 and finish full time education. Okay. Yeah, means they'll start uh, working. Maybe, or they might go to university, but I, I would have to pay for it. I think, um, maybe I'm not sure. Um, uh, yeah. So, so when Reese, the oldest, when he turns eighteen, uh, he then only has to pay me for two kids, not three. So it, it'll reduce okay. a bit. Yeah. Means uh, legally, it's like your kid has been started to earn. Yeah, legally they're adults, and yes, you don't need to um, pay for them after that. Yeah, but of course, it doesn't he just stop when they're eighteen. You know, you know, kids okay. can live with you for years and years, and they still need money. They still need food. You know, at eighteen, they're still kids. Yes, exactly. You know, so yes, yes so that so then it'll be me. In in India, in India, uh, kids they got married, they got kids. Still, they live with their parents, and sometimes they are depend on their parents if they 
didn't get good job or if they are not making good money. Right. Okay. Right. Yes. So if if parents are uh, like in government job or if they have good business, then it's mm. okay. But if they are not, then they'll have to manage to their mm. kids. Sometimes they earn, sometimes they don't. Okay. Yes. I think it's different everywhere. Like some, I I think some countries, yeah. There's no rules. There's no laws. Uh. So yeah, it can be very difficult for people. Uh. Okay, and what about, um, so do many people look for work outside India to send money back to their family in India? Does that happen a lot? Yeah, uh, so many people, they work in Dubai, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, mm. and uh, yeah, they work and they send money to their family mm, okay e in, in india people from up and bihar states these are the states up and bihar they are like uh, lit, uh percentage of literacy is very low and they don't have good business so they move to maharashtra like mumbai or uh, proper delhi and they earn money from here and they send to the uh, okay right ah uh, good yes it's not easy is it Okay, so when you say family, do you mean their wife and kids, or do you mean their parents? Uh, by wife, kids, their parents. Anybody, everybody. Everybody, because they are joint family. So it's like they are paying to their And do you family. have pensions in India where you, if you work in like a government job, you get a pension? Yes, only government servants got pain, uh, get pension because uh, government servants get pension uh, after their 58 only they can resign uh, they can get uh, retirement if before that they get voluntary retirement they they cannot uh, come back to their job like you are saying that if i go back to police officer's yeah. duty in india it's not possible once you resign your job you cannot mm -hmm. go back to that job yeah no usually I, I can um, only do that because I haven't resigned yet. I've only took a break. So I'm I'm technically okay. still a police officer. I'm just having... Okay. How long have you taken So I asked for five years in 2017. So I have to go back summer 2022. Okay. So have you decided you... Uh, go I think I'm going to quit. Because actually... Okay. Because I know Why? that, I, because already I'm earning probably more money than I would if I was in the police full time. So I know, and I've only just started. So I know that my, yeah, I know that my business is going to, I'm going to be better. I'm going to have more money if I, if I do this. And it's just, it's better to be my own boss. Yeah, <laughs> yes, exactly. Definitely. So yeah, uh, if everything goes as as well as it is now, I'm not going back. I'm going to teach. But you will get pension for government job and for your own business. No, but I can pay get... into my own private pension to get a pension. Okay. Right. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.